Welcome back to Cloudpunk. We are here in Amuro Market. We have the option of whether to pull the plug on William or access the lockdown switch. That's what was happening in the previous episode. Also in the previous episode, we were breaking the economy, making boundless limbs by buying stuff from one merchant and selling to another. The thing is that, you know, very often in games with an economy, unless the developers do something to try and ensure that it doesn't get out of control, then very often the player character can find themselves in a situation whereby <laughs> they've just got more money than they know what to do with. And especially given that one of the important plot points of this game is that Rania is supposedly very poor, I do feel like I'm kind of missing the point somewhat. Also the fact that one of the themes of this game is the dangers of unchecked capitalism. So yeah, again, I, th I think I'm becoming the problem. So <laughs> maybe I should call a halt on getting silly with money. Anyway, let's, let's head up here towards these two waypoints. If we can. Looks like we can. Does the map connect up? It does. Super. So yeah, we need to decide whether we're going to access the lockdown switch or pull the plug. And while I'm not a huge fan of William, we've been here before, haven't we? Avalon Cloudway? I think so. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of William, but I do think that there are other lives at stake here. And perhaps we should... Yeah, we should be a little bit more delicate in our actions. So let's go through this door. I think this is the way. Yeah, the lockdown switch is just over here somewhere. Here? Here. Hello. Achievement unlocked. William's fate. Woman? The lockdown is active. Glad I could help. What's going to happen to the people in quarantine? Oh, I will be sure to get them help. I am not sure that is true. It is true, little dog. And I have transferred payment. So our transaction is complete. Goodbye. Did we do the right thing? We did something. And I just made another 2,000 limbs, taking my healthy limb balance to an even healthier state. Hmm. Oh, hello, Control. Driver 14 FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. Huh. It's very fashionable in the spire. I wonder if I could afford one of this those. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Oh, hello, Dolly. I'd love to help those less fortunate than me. Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, They'll need to print another. Is this well paid, at least? <laughs> For Cloudpunk, yes. For you, well, kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. Timed mission. Well, I mean, it's not timed yet, but it will be. Okay, so uh, I need to zoom out. And there was a green marker dead ahead. Okay. Let's get ourselves onto the cloudway. Right, so hopefully getting to the pickup point will be fairly uneventful. If so, I'll meet you there. There's a fuel station here. I'm just going to stop off because my fuel is getting quite low. I should really pay attention to prices because that was 3.53 and I imagine different filling stations have different prices. Again, not that I really need to be particularly, particularly precious about a few limbs here and there given my current state. Right, where's the best parking space? Just up here on the right. Cool. Ah, can't believe I brushed that. I blame the lag. Oh, quite busy in the car park today. Julia Navago, you're a merchant, Your face are you? This looks familiar. Do you need some stems? Hmm. Uh, don't Thanks. think that stuff is particularly cheap. See you again soon all right this is where the pickup is and once we pick this up we're going to need to move fast i'm here to pick up the heart now go every second counts 
I'm trying to go. Okay, got 129 seconds. And let's uh, let's do this. I wish I'd been able to park my hover a little closer to the end, but it is what it is. Okay, let's get ourselves onto the highway and get some speed. Get the boost on, and... Oh, didn't quite manage to thread that. And now I'm snaking about all over the place, but... Okay, we're good now, we're good. Bit more boost. I was hoping to check out the fuel prices at some point, but... I think that we'll probably have to wait until an occasion when we're not against the clock. Well, there's an area to the left there that we haven't explored yet. Looking forward to coming back to that. Let's use a bit of boost to get through here quickly. And this next area here I think isn't too large, so I should be able to get to my destination without too much trouble. Let's go cross country, come on, up, 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 oh, for goodness sake. Up, 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 up. Okay, and we need to park somewhere. Uh, oh, the parking spot was behind us. What? No, that's never going to work. Uh, yeah, I definitely need to get to the parking space. That's awful. Okay, come on. Park, 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 park. Ah, oh, I'm making a total hash of this. All right, now I've got 38 seconds to run all the way down here. Hmm, not sure if this is going to work. Let's see, I've got 24 seconds left and I'm covered about, what, 4 metres a second? Oh, that's going to be really close. Ah, we're going to make it. It's going to be okay. Only a few seconds to spare. Uh, this box here, I presume? Yeah, post deliveries. Well done, Achievement FC. unlocked, Neo Cupid. You've made someone very happy. Be still, Ooh. my beating heart. Ah. If I could, I'd roll my eyes. Hmm. If I could, I'd roll my eyes, suggesting he doesn't have any eyes. And we're learning more and more about control with each each passing moment. Okay, let's uh, let's see what this merchant's got for sale. What are you looking for? Whatever it is, I got it. Uh, candy bar, six dollars. How does that... Do I have any candy bars or bubble gum or soda cans that I can... I suppose what I could do is I could I could buy a candy bar. So that's six. And I can see how much is in my inventory. Six. Okay. So that means that... I assume that means... No, because that's going to be the selling price. Oh, I can, I can, I can tell the electrons. Oh, 97. Okay. Right. So we know that this guy is high prices. That's very high prices. So if I had stuff to sell... I would sell it to him. But I don't have stuff to sell because I was doing Thanks. all the celery in the previous episode. Hey, come celery. Back anytime, lady. <laughs> it's a nice little accidental turn of phrase, isn't it? All right, we're in an area. There's going to be lots and lots of things to pick up. Punch cards for Evelyn. Miscellaneous items. Cool. Okay, so we should make a mental note that this Garrett Heights in the central Milo district is a place where there's potentially someone... Someone to sell things to. 97 for an electronics. I kind of use electronics as the, the standard because I've memorized that 75 is the sort of the, the average price. So if I see someone who's um, who's selling electronics for 67, then I should buy. And if I see someone who's buying electronics for 97, then I should sell. Hey, Camus, I found this encrypted keycard. Do you think we could read it? I am not really a decryption automata. I am more of a running in a park automata. <laughs> oh, bless. So there's no way. Scanning. There are markings on the keycard. One, seven, nine, eight, five. You're right. Whoever owned this actually wrote their PIN number on here. We should hand it back. Mr. Spacula, CEO of Spacula Enterprises. He must have lost his holocash card. CEO. So we will hand it back. I have a nav point for the Spacula HQ. I would like to take a look at this account first. Are we going to... I'm still deciding. Hmm. Well, that's a decision to make, isn't it? Okay, looks like there's one more pickup to be had in this area. Hmm. Return the key card to the CEO of Spacula or try it. I'm 
tempted to tr mm, try it. It might set off a security alert. I'm doing it. 17985. Account bounce 725. That's not worth it, really. I mean, for a CEO, you know, considering I'm a mere delivery driver, and I've got over 15,000 limbs in my pocket, and this CEO has 725. That's, that's chump change. That's chicken feed. That don't impress me much. That impresses me much. I want the yellow jumpsuit. I also want to go back to the hover. I think, um... Now this is interesting, isn't it? Because that encrypted keycard was just like a random thing I picked up. So this can't be a main story quest. I assume once I get back in the hover, the next main story quest will trigger. Okay, and the CEO is all the way up there in the sprawl, which is an area that we haven't explored yet. So I'm, I'm going there. I'm more interested in finding out what things hey, there Harris, are to pick are up in fuel? that area. The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right-hand rear drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. Give me a nav point for the garage. Emmett's. Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. Okay, so we're going to need to head to Emmett to get this checked. But I do want to check this area out. And yeah, I know that the hover isn't in perfect nick, but it seems to be just about... just about struggling on by. Right. Okay, usual protocol. Run around, pick up all the things on the floor. I have this feeling that I'm going to get to the end of the game and then discover that there was a sprint button I didn't know about. What do you think? Is that likely to happen? <laughs> Alright, we need to make our way up at some point because it looks like all the interesting things are up there. I wonder if this thing will take me up. Let's try it. If I can even get to it. Here's a dealer. Nestor Cray is wishing you a good day, stranger. Normally I don't sell to your kind, but business is hard these days. That yeah, that well. looked expensive. Nestor Cray will never remember the kind stranger. Goodbye, Nestor Cray. Nice knowing you. direction do I want to be taking so there's nothing else down there I think I want to backtrack to that lift yeah while I wanted to come up here to pick up those two items the actual quest destination is on the level below huh that's a dead end how awkward Is Spacula. Hi, I have a card to return. It's Mr. Spacula's. Count Please Spacula. Place the card <laughs> in the mail receptacle. Is there a reward for this or something? Please hold. We should have just kept the card, Camus. That's what I said. You did not. Please note the authorization code for Mr. Spacula 78D54. What do I do with this? Use this code at a holocash machine to claim your reward. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Okay, 78D54. I wonder if this is actually going to give us more than there was on the account. That could be interesting. That could be very interesting. Is there a holocash machine around here? There isn't. Okay. Well, that's up in the top right corner, so that's not going anywhere. I think Let's limp back to Emmett. Let's get our hover checked out. Yeah, it is very sluggish to control at the moment. 
and it's on the it's on the wonk as well you can probably see a bit of an angle again i assume this is going to be a fairly uneventful journey so meet you at the other end actually one thing i'm just going to quickly do is i'm just going to see how much the fuel is here 275 okay so that's quite a lot cheaper that's kind of the, the north of upper midtown another filling station just here to check the prices on Ooh, 223 that's even cheaper still so that's um that's on the very southern edge down from caledon also i heard a chunky noise there yeah down in this area okay uh, so yeah let's get back on this highway here this looks like a decent route towards emmet all right we're arriving at emmet's kind of via the back route but we made it, that's the important thing. Park! Don't just tonk against walls, that's no good. Alright, hello Emmett. Hi Emmett, do you remember me? Sure I do. You tried to catch old Joe. You're from Skypunk. Uh, yeah, that's right. Listen, my Hava has a fault. Do you think you could have a look at it? Let's open her up and have a look then. There's just one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was gonna try. This has been a tough night. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. <laughs> well, she I says while holding 15 and a half down, thousand limbs. But I ain't the priciest, neither. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it. Especially seeing as how you brought back the drive converter and cleared Joe's debt. Thank you. All right, I see the problem. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator. And it's done. What, that seriously? Quick. That's it? That's it. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. That was an easy fix. Tell a friend to come here for their next refit, and I'll consider us even. Wow. I will. Um, Emmett, whatever happened to Joe? Oh, he finished three more races. Took first place in the Inner City Derby. That's great. I'm glad he's happy. Was happy. He was in a real bad crash in Midtown. Oh, no. Cora only knows what happened to that road junction. It let them all straight into the sea. He's dead? He went out doing what he loves, kid. Don't feel bad for him. He wouldn't want that. Mm, yeah, I did have a feeling back when we were given the choice of whether to encourage Joe to continue racing or not that uh, we might be sealing we have his fate. another incoming message request. From? It's routed through CloudPunk, but the user ID only says customer feedback. Oh no, no thanks. It says obligatory read. What does obligatory mean? The same as mandatory. Hmm. What does mandatory mean? It means mean? this job sucks. <laughs> Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must talk with you. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. Mm. He was our Now friend. a widow. It's just a figure of speech, Camus. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. Go on then, Camus. Put him through. Put him through, Camus. I didn't think you would accept my call. I thought I owed you some kind of explanation. You don't need to feel guilty. I don't. But you need to face up to the consequences of your choices. I do, and I'm sorry for your loss. She was... A hard woman, but she was mine. I will miss her. Do you want me to say sorry? Would it help? No, I don't think so. The people you saved, were, were they good people? Who knows? I hope so. This place is broken at every level. Avalon Heights? Nivalis. Life isn't fair, I know that, but we try to make it fair, or fairer at least. Android, human, automata, we're not born equal. Some of us aren't even born. Mrs. Octavius Butler wasn't perfect. But she made me feel like we were imperfect to the same degree. We were broken on the same level. I'm sorry I didn't save her. Hmm. That did make me feel better. I should get back to work. Of course. Thank you for listening to me. 
Goodbye, Mr. Octavius Butler. Okay, that's all very reasonable. But what are we supposed to do next? I mean, we can claim our hollow cash reward. Where's the nearest machine for doing that? There isn't one in this world space at all. So I guess we're just bimbling around waiting for our next main story quest. Here we the go. Alpha alert subsystem. He seems very angry. The system is a he? Yes. I communicate with many subsystems, and they often choose a gender. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. Just a few of the doer ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non-sentient subsystems. Interesting. Android? Oh, never mind. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says you have not responded to the emergency support request. I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. He says it is mandatory that you d No, I don't want to know. Driver 14FC, are you there? Ronnie, uh, you've been served an emergency support request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to get on that. You know what it means? No idea. Another cloud punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. You're the closest. Get over there and pick him up. Is this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's harmless. All right, on my way, Control. Let's just do a little fuel price check. 204, that's the new record. Okay, that's over on the right by Botev Avenue. Noted. See, I was just kind of driving around the block a little bit, kind of killing time. Not sure if I was going the right way or not. But we'll be fine. Oh, we haven't been through the Gaff Gary Tunnel before. How exciting. And let's do another fuel check. 223. Okay, the one over on the east by Botev Avenue is still the winner. Oh, another fuel check. Tonk. Tonk again. Come on, why won't this go up? There we go. 349. Oh, pricey. Right, where's our best parking spot? Up there. Okay, let's get over there. Careful, careful, careful. Up we go. Back to Diamond Hills. We have been here before. So there's nothing to pick up. Not even any merchants. Okay, I think we're going to end this episode about here. In the next episode, we'll be picking up the driver who is in distress here in Avalon Hills. See you next time. Bye-bye.